Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So uh, I was recently out again shopping at my local Lidl supermarket here in the UK and I came across this Parkside bench vice. So I thought it looked quite cool. I don't have one at the moment, so I thought I'd pick it up. It only cost 20 pounds, so let's take a closer look at it. So uh, currently I'm using this work zone, smaller kind of hobby vice, and that's been fine for certain projects and things, um, but I was looking for something a little bit more heavy duty. So I will be keeping this one. It has uh, rubber jaws. You can still pick these up very cheaply online. Um, clamp it onto the desk here at the bottom. But as I say, it doesn't have a, like an anvil built in and it doesn't have as much sort of heavy duty strength as the one I've just bought. Let's just take a look at the box before we cut the box open. So Parkside Bench Voice, cast iron body with steel shaft, spindle with turning limiter. It includes two rubber jaws and uh, some of the bolts and things to connect it to a workbench. The jaw opening is 100 millimeters. The jaw width is 100 millimeters, and it weighs approximately 5.3 kilograms. Let's cut it open. So here's the vise. And we have the two rubber jaws. And then a bag with two bolts and uh, four washers and two nuts. Okay, so I've put it on the edge of a desk here, just placed it there. And uh, I'm just gonna check out what the action feels like. So I'm using one finger. We'll just see how far it comes out. It's a bit of wobble from side to side. And there we go, it stops there. So it stops there. So I'll just quickly uh, measure the total width and the total opening is about 11 centimeters so you probably wouldn't ever want to use it just quite just that that much probably keep it at about 10 or so which is a pretty good size to work with and then uh, for the width of these jaws I've measured them and they are exactly 10 centimeters wide and then this back anvil kind of plate here that is around 7.5 centimeters by about 7.5 just under 7.5 and across it is exactly 10 centimeters so this feels a little bit rough if you wanted to make this nice and smooth you could just give that a quick sanding down but it's no problem um, it's got this nice green, dark green paint, which I think is quite nice. As I say, a little bit of wobble, a bit of movement in here, but it is only a 20 pound voice. The handle seems quite well made and strong. I'm just going to uh, reduce it back down again. Not much uh, pressure needed, you can see I'm just doing it with one finger. Probably, I'll probably give this a greasing up later. So for these jaws, um, both sides have Allen key holes here. So I assume these can be removed and you could replace them, let's say with a hard plastic or even a rubber. I'm not sure, but they look removable. See the Allen key holes here and they've got grip on the insides or crisscross grip. And then they come with these rubber 
feet. I'm not too keen on these personally. I find that they slip uh, when you're doing things, but um, they are still very useful. I'm just putting them on now, and you can see they cover the jaws quite well. Quite a nice firm fit, actually. So these will probably be quite good. And that's great for if you're using it for some soft wood or a more delicate project. Right then, let's get this mounted up to the desk. So I'm going to use this corner that I have here on one of my small benches. And I'm just going to get it kind of centred up, roughly where I want it, nice and close to the edge. Okay, so once I've got it exactly where I want it, that's about right. I'm just going to drill down and make two marks. So now I've got a drill bit in that matches the width of the bolts provided. And I'm going to drill the two holes. Just checking the, the holes and it's a perfect fit. Not too snug and not too big either. So now all I need to do is position the vice over the top and put a washer on each bolt. So now I just need to add the other two washers and then the nylock nuts. Okay, so I'm just gonna use uh, one spanner at the top to hold the nut here, and the other one, just to tighten up. So these bolts that were provided, um, they're a bit long for what I need. So I'm simply going to cut them down with a hacksaw. So later on I actually decided to upgrade the washers that came with the voice, not necessary, but I had these big ones and I just thought it would give me a little bit of extra security. So if you have some bigger washers, you might want to do that yourself. So that's it, it's all installed. Um, it's surprisingly actually very, very rigid on this desk. I thought there might be a bit of flex in it, but you can see I'm pulling it now. And it's rock solid. So this is a piece of old worktop probably two and a half, three centimeters thick. Um, does the job perfectly. So I'm right handed. Just uh, works out perfectly for me. And uh, it just opens up with one finger. It vibrates a bit, there's a bit, of, you know, a bit of movement in it. Quite a big tolerance saying that. I mean, when a piece of wood is clamped up, it's nice and rigid, so. There you go, could do some dovetails here, whatever you wanted. For £20, I don't really think there's anything negative to say about it. We'll see how these rubber jaws get on in the future, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. And if I want to use it 
quite often for woodwork I'll probably make some wooden inserts to go in here to clamp the wood and not damage the wood but uh, that will be on a later video it's got the anvil and uh, you can see that's not bad a bit, little bit of vibration because this is attached to the the frame of the workshop but only a slight amount I'm sure that's going to be pretty useful so that's about it for this video I'm sure I'll be using this vice in many future projects for the money it seems like a bargain although I haven't given it a thorough testing yet so I can't say just yet but um, if you did find this video useful Please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.